Here we are uh, in Joni's uh, beautiful van. We're going to step inside and take a look around. Okay, man, it is so nice. Your, uh, your tiny house builder did an amazing job. Thanks. Why don't you go ahead and show us around? All right. Well, starting up here in front, I've got... Um... I've got a lounge area. So one of the things that I really wanted with this van was I wanted it to feel really open. And I didn't want any floor to ceiling anything because that just feels, it just closes everything in and boxes it in. And so I went with a really, really open design. And so I've got uh, the swivel seats in the front with a bench. And, um, and the bench is not only my file drawers, for work, but also a hidden toilet. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, that was and, always my next question, yeah, how to go to the bathroom. Yeah, and so I'll, I'll actually unbox that for you so you can see exactly how it okay. works. Okay, all right. Uh, because it works really well. I am, you know, as, as fancy as this van is, I use a bucket system because it works. It's easy and it just works. So, um, so do you want to... Yeah. See that? All right. Well, yeah, we, we can't have a fan tour without seeing right. your toilet. Exactly. That's totally impossible. Um, so this is just a meditation mat that I already had. And uh, this is just to keep it from falling on the floor as I drive. So this just lifts off and it steps in front of the toilet for a squatty potty. Oh, yeah. This is a normal toilet seat. So just one of the, not an elongated one, just a regular toilet seat. And it's on top of a an oval wash bucket. Oh yeah, just uh, you'd buy that in a grocery store. Yep. And I use bag these bags from IKEA fit it absolutely perfectly. And then I use um, and this is clean <laughs> right now. And then I just use a shredded paper pet bedding. Mm -hmm. This is a recycled product. And this just sits on a frame so that the seat can sit above it. Mm-hmm. So it's super comfortable. It's exactly the same height as a, as your toilet in your house. <laughs> yeah, that's a squatty potty, which raises your uh, knees yep. so that it's a more natural exactly. position. Exactly. So um, this is only for poo. So right. I use uh, pee bottles for pee. Oops, right. I turned that around. Right. So let me put this back together and I'll show you because I am not a squatter. <laughs> so here's my pee system. So I've got a plastic water bottle. Green pretty much camouflages the, camouflages the pee so that, uh, so that I can just take it into any bathroom and dump it when I'm in an area that has that. I use a pee rag and a pee style. Okay. So that's designed specifically for women. Yep. And they're... And their exactly. anatomy. Exactly. So it helps me pee in the bottle without making a mess anywhere. So this is kind of my whole little bathroom uh, thing with my toilet paper down in here and my bottles and my pet bedding. Right, right, right. So just standard pet bedding from uh, anywhere. Yep. Uh, you can get them at uh, any of the pet stores or, oh, sorry rattling that. Uh, you can get it at a pet store or a um, tax store, um, farm store, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. It's for hamsters and small animals. Right. Okay. So nice lounge. You can uh, have company over and they can have a yes. seat yes. And, and your bathroom is hidden. Your toilet Absolutely. is completely hidden. Yeah. I, I often have people sitting on the toilet unaware. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you, like you said, your front uh, seat swivel. Mm-hmm. That, that isn't standard with a sprinter, so he had to put that in. Um, I ordered that from the factory. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that is from Sprinter. You can get them aftermarket as well, but they're higher if you get them aftermarket. Well, I guess we never even talked about your van. Your van is actually a Freightliner branded. Yes. So, but uh, made by Mercedes. Exactly. So it's made by Mercedes, and Mercedes partners with Freightliner here in the U.S. to... Um, to offer the vans and I did that specifically. I I just feel like there are people in the world who 
see Mercedes and they think lots of money and when you see Freightliner you just don't have much of an opinion unless you're a truck driver and then you still don't really have much of an opinion of it. Um, so I made, I was intentional on the branding of it and um, I also took off all the badging so it doesn't say Sprinter on the back. I have a couple of bumper stickers on the back that I have as magnets and so I can pull those off and I can be totally incog incognito anywhere. It started life as a car, empty cargo van. Yes, that's all it was. Yep. You insulated it. Yes. Uh, did the, every all the design that yes. we see and hired this tiny house builder to build exactly. it. Exactly. Yep. So it's insulated with insulate on the walls and ceiling, and mini cell foam on the floor. And then um, my goals for this van were to have a comfortable bed and a good kitchen, and be as green as possible and be able to park anywhere along the Oregon coast. <laughs> And so it has met all of those, all, it's it ticks all those boxes. I've used as much of the green products as I can. I have a natural linoleum floor. Um, I've got a recycled paper stone counter. I've got um, all of the finish is a, is a linseed oil finish. And I've got like organic bedding and all of that. So um, so I've got a really great kitchen setup. Um, starting at the door, I have a marine fridge that is very full right now. It has a freezer. This is a totally unique fridge. <laughs> and it has a drawer just below the freezer that doesn't freeze. It's, it just boggles my mind. Right. So I love the fridge. It works great and it hardly uses any energy. Um, I am 100% electricity, so I'm all solar. I never plug in, and uh, so I I don't have propane on board or anything like that. I cook with an induction burner that just stores under the counter and just plugs in. So I have probably more counter space than most people in a house. I would say so, yeah. <laughs> and certainly most people in an RV. Yeah, that's a that's an enormous counter then. Yeah. So the other way that I cook is um, with an Instant Pot. And um, on my channel, The Galavan, you can see a lot of Instant Pot recipes. And um, so this is just a really solar friendly way to cook because it only takes energy for um, for a very short amount of time. It takes four to five percent of my battery bank to cook a whole super stew. And is that because it's well insulated? And then um, once it starts, once it gets up the heat, it maintains it well? Oh, well, it's just because it's a pressure cooker. And so once it gets up to pressure, oh, it's not taking in or any energy. Right, it just so has to maintain the cooking. pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So it's a great way to cook. Easy, easy way to cook on the road because it's just one pot meals kinds of thing. And it kind of takes away, some people are afraid of pressure cookers. So I imagine it takes away some of that. It does. So I have had a stovetop pressure cooker and yeah, you have to babysit those. Yes. Yeah. You put it in, you push the button and you're done. And you just wait for your cook, food to cook. It's super easy and everything tastes great out of it. Um, so I do have a 40 gallon water tank and I drink all of my water from my water tank, but I filter it through a Berkey water filter. Um, so that just makes it super easy. I don't have to be hunting for, um, for great water all the time. Um, also, my sink. Um, it was important to me to have a sink big enough to wash my dishes and to wash my hair. And um, so this is a bar sink that you can get at Home Depot or Amazon. So you mentioned washing your hair. Uh -huh. uh, and how do you shower then? <laughs> so I do have a shower off the back, but I've only used it three times. The weather has to be absolutely perfect for me to use that. I generally just use a quarter of a washcloth each day with a tiny bit of water and a little bit of soap. And I bathe with that, I bathe my body with that. And then every, I don't know, four or five days, I wash my hair um, just in the sink. And this mm -hmm. pulls out. It's great. Do that again. Show that how that works. Yeah, that works really good. Yeah. So it makes it super easy. And um, I can make it so that the water, I rarely turn this on very high. 
Um, I usually only turn it on that much. And that does everything that I need it to. Washing dishes, rinsing dishes, washing my hair. So we heard the water pump kick yep, in. You just have a that. traditional RV water system. I do. That's probably the thing that's going to fail the f first right. on my van. Um, because it's pretty much the only thing from the RV industry. Right. <laughs> and so I've got marine latches. These are slam latches. that. Um, so I never have to worry about my drawers flying open as I drive. Because as soon as I push them in, they're locked. I did... Um, so this van has been extremely planned. So my the drawer sizes are based on what I needed to store in them. So I already knew what I was going to be bringing and was able to design it based on what I needed. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, this is something that I've never seen anybody else do. Um, there's probably a better way to do it, but um, I needed a step up to the bed. And so this is just a piece of the countertop and the... Uh, there's a ledge that has notches oh, yeah. in between the drawers. For the step up to the bed, it also makes for an extra seat. Oh, yeah. That's very right. slick. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Um, super simple. I would love to figure out a way to have it pull out from behind the drawers or, you know, maybe two, on both sides, but haven't quite figured out the logistics of that. Um, and then I was able to put a closet under my bed and have spillover pantry. Mm-hmm. And then my batteries are also under my bed. Um, there's a wooden box back in there. The other way. <laughs> and your it's your clo your clothes closet. Yep, my clothes just closet. Kind of everything. And my food pantry. Yep, and my shoes. Um, and then up above, this is basically my dresser, um, and bookshelves and everything. I love this open design. Yes. Um, it gives you, you're not really supposed to walk around your van while it's in motion, but when you do have an extra driver, sometimes you do that. You go back and close a window or something. It gives you a handhold. Um, and nothing ever falls out of it except for one towel. <laughs> <laughs> so everything has a home and that one towel is always there and falls the, out. The one towel, it has its home. It just doesn't stay. <laughs> it likes to likes to bump out um, but yeah everything has a home and I think as you're planning out your van I mean you don't have to use this these materials you can still have a van that that lives like this van with um, without the expense of this van but what I would recommend is that you have everything have a home and have it in its place all the time because it just makes it so much easier um, I am so nimble. I, I can move within five minutes, no matter how, you know, even if I haven't done my dishes, I can move in five minutes. And almost always, I can just move right away, like just grab my key and go. Yeah, I can see that. Everything, with everything in a place, you can always find it. Exactly. You don't have to drag it out when you set up camp and put it away when you, when exactly. you leave camp. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think I can find anything in my van in the dark. Wow, that'd because be nice. Because everything has its place. Right. Yeah. Right. It's it's a great, it, it's such an easy way to live. Yeah. Close by. You don't have to go very far for anything and it's right. all there. Exactly. Exactly. I, I love that too. Yeah. All right. So that's a really big bed. <laughs> that's a big bed. <laughs> it is a queen, it's a normal queen size bed. And with, with room on the sides um, to be able to tuck in and stuff. Um, when I first designed the, the van, I had a partner and, um, for a while I was, I was like, wow, I really didn't need this big of a van and didn't need this big of a bed, but now I have a partner again and I'm very happy that I have a queen size bed again. Right. <laughs> so, and the comfortable bed was my number one priority sure. with this van. And so it was really important to me. I mean, this is a nine inch organic latex mattress. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's heavy, very, very heavy, um, but it's comfortable, and that was number one priority. Right, right. I'm going to stick my nose down in your, uh, yeah. your closet. Yeah. Just everything that, you know, you have in a house, you have a, a spot for it here. 
and uh, more lots of drawers, beautiful drawers over here, each holding normal household stuff and a big beautiful bed. And a guitar. See a guitar hanging up here. That's a new addition. All righty, so why don't we go ahead and um, check the out the back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, now that's some great organiza organization and storage back here as well. Yeah. So, um, so these boxes are um, really to prevent my pillow from falling into my garage. Right. <laughs> uh, that was uh, kind of an afterthought, but it also provides storage for my screen that I put on the back. Um, here's my outdoor shower. It's a lot different than most people's. Um, I used a European style shower mixer valve and I just have a shower head that it stores here um, in with my fresh water hose and my shower curtains and it just has a suction cup that goes onto the window. Um, so this is a drawer just for cards and hoses and wet things, um, just to make it really handy. I do have a 15 gallon gray tank that I have to empty and I have a 40 gallon fresh water tank um, and that's just a simple gravity feed fill. And so the gray water tank is just for the shower? No, the shower doesn't oh, the have sink. a tank at all. Yeah, the just sink. the sink. Yeah. Yep. Right. Exactly. And. Uh, and it doesn't, it, it takes me quite a while to fill up 15 gallons because I use very little water. Even though I don't use any disposables, I'm always washing my dishes and things. Um, it still just doesn't take very much to do that if you're very careful, which I am. Um, I also have a folding bike. Um, so if you want to buy, I, I love not having anything on the outside of my van. And so I've got my bike and my ladder able to store inside. So we're back inside and you did a stunning, stunning job of doing the layout. I mean, it's just, it's nearly perfect, I think. Thank you. And your carpenter, your tiny house builder, was a true craftsman. Mm -hmm. Boys, you know, sometimes people pay a lot of money and don't aren't happy with what they get. But I assume that you're delighted with what you got. I love it. Yeah, yes. it's, it's amazing craftsmanship here. Mm -hmm. So this is a hard question, but do you mind if I ask, how much did, have you got invested? So, you know, this is, you know, I did plan for this and I, I did put some money into this, but you can do the same sort of build and have the same sort of you know, layout and stuff with a lot less expensive materials. Um, I will say that it is far less than purchasing a pre-made road track or the like and you get exactly what you want, you get higher quality materials, and you don't have the extra things that you're not gonna use. Like, I did not want a microwave, I didn't want a black tank, I didn't want an indoor shower. All of those things would have taken space that would have decreased my quality of life. So it is, you know, this is definitely a, a higher end build, but it is far less than a pre-made build, and. Um, and you can do the same sort of thing for a lot less. Right. Even if you're not a craftsman, yeah. you, might, you probably aren't going to end up with the same craftsman quality unless you are a craftsman. Exactly. But you can have an amazingly comfortable home for pretty little money, too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So bef uh, before we go, why don't you give us your social media again? Great. I am at The Galavan. That's T-H-E-G-A-L-A-V-A-N. That's on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And so everyone go check her out. A lot of great ideas. Uh, and I think you'll really, really enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, I also have thegalavan.com, which is where you can find all of your specific questions about what exactly I used in here with links. So if that's something, if you're trying to build something and you want to know what this countertop is or what kind of sink this is, that information's at thegalavan.com. Anything we haven't talked about, Joni, that you want to throw in? Not that I can think of. I think Thanks we so much, Bob. Yeah. I, I really appreciate the, the tour and uh, and the work that you do to help people get on the road. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. 
Okay, folks, there you go. I think you're really going to enjoy this beautiful van build and get some great ideas for yourself. Thank you so much, Joni. Really appreciate it. So everyone out there, well, uh, I know you got something out of this. And so hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.